as someone who's been working in the job sector and as a career coach for almost 10 years, I've worked with close to a thousand professionals. Out of those people, there are those that stood out. Something that would take an average professional 30 years and a professional lifetime, they'd managed to do it in 10 to 15. For me, particularly during my early days in the recruitment industry, I always found this fascinating. What was it about them that allowed them to progress so rapidly? What things were consistent across all these individuals? And could it be replicated by others? The conclusion that I came to was yes. But before I share my key strategies to fast track and accelerate your career, it's important to ask yourself one big question. Are you willing and motivated enough to watch the entire video? Whether you think the strategies are any good or not is not the issue. The issue is do you have the desire to be a high achiever and go on to great things? Or are you happily satisfied with where you are? Because ultimately these strategies will only work if you have the aspiration and the ambition to be successful. And by committing to watching the whole video from beginning to end is a sign that you're willing to learn and improve yourself to achieve that success. And ultimately having the potential knock on effect of having more money, greater status and a more exciting and satisfying career. So let's get started. Set yourself a goal. What position do you want to be in 10 years time? But this can vary depending on where you are currently within your career. Write it down and put the date next to it. Now you're going to list all the positions and job roles that are going to be required on your career journey to reaching that ultimate goal. So now in essence, what you've done is created your very own career timeline. You now have a target and something tangible to work towards. And secondly, created your very own career plan. You know the final destination and you have an idea of the route that you're going to take to get there. Stick a copy of your plan somewhere visible and present so you don't lose sight of your goal and the bigger picture. So now that you have your career plan and roadmap, it's time to think about how you're going to achieve it. Now when you're in a job, you're usually left with three career defining actions. Do you move to a similar role in a different company? Stay in the job because of a promotion? Or do you move to a more senior position with a different company? I refer to these three actions as the hop, skip and jump. So to progress your career, you should be looking to either hop, skip or jump every one and a half to two years. That's if you're working in Western markets. However, if you're working on the Eastern side, such as in Japan, South Korea and China, the target should be around the three year mark. And planning for your move should really begin at least three to four months in advance. It's important to also keep in mind, inaction can lead to career stagnation. So never get too comfy. Don't get stuck in your comfort zone. Leave that for home because you've got a far bigger vision for yourself. Out of the three actions, the jump is by far the most important in progressing your career and this naturally makes it the hardest. Most people usually prefer to hop. But when you do this, you have to do it with a strategic goal in mind. And the skip is usually a mixture of luck and circumstances. Someone leaves and you're in prime position to take the more senior role. So the first question is, when is the right time to skip? Well, if you know there are genuine opportunities within the company to move up, then it's well worth staying because you could see your career progress without having to go through the effort of changing jobs. However, here you have to be honest with yourself because companies will always make promises of progression. You have to work out whether this is a reality or not. If you're coming up to the two year mark, and you know that realistically nothing's going to arise anytime soon, it's time to either hop or jump. Now you only hop if you're unable to jump. Reasons for being unable to jump and how to solve them is something we're going to come to later. But with the hop being a sideways move, you have to be thinking how this move is going to help you in making that jump. So you have to think strategically. Here I've listed the following things you should think about. What experiences and skills am I going to gain which are going to help me in making the jump? Are they paying for any recognized qualifications which will increase my credentials within my industry? Will the combination of my current skills and new skills make me a more marketable candidate? Will this company's reputation improve my own reputation and credibility within my industry? Hopping sideways purely for monetary reasons, just for a few thousand dollars or pounds, might give you some short term gains but in the long run, you could be sacrificing the bigger picture. So it's important to ensure that your experiences from your hop will actually help you in making the jump to the next level in achieving that long-term career goal. And finally, we come on to the jump. 
Firstly, you need to understand what things could be preventing you from making the jump. Here I've categorized them into two factors, external and internal. External are essentially factors which are out of your control. For example, there aren't any positions available in the sector that you work in for you to make the jump. Internal factors are those which you have more control over, and I'm going to focus on the two most important. So the first internal factor, which is really going to be preventing you from moving up to the next level, is your CV and resume, and the fact that it's not getting you enough interviews at a higher level, and you're struggling to get your foot in the door. And the second are your interview skills, the fact that they're not good enough to convince the interview panel to give you the job for the more senior position. So for example, the one interview that you do get for the senior position, they come back to you and say you're a great candidate, but feel that you don't have enough experience. These two are by far the biggest internal factors preventing you from progressing. It's a bit like when you're suffering from tiredness and fatigue. You can take as many vitamin tablets or shots of espresso as you like, but the solution is as simple as sleeping on time and getting your daily 7-8 to eight hours sleep. We're now going to look at ways you can effectively improve your CV or resume and interview skills by making some smart investments. So with regards to your CV and resume, it needs to make an impact and really market your skills at their most optimal. See it as your very own professional marketing brochure. I would suggest that you look into having it professionally written. Most writing companies will give you an initial free assessment, so it's well worth having a chat with them. Alternatively, another option is to get hold of my 30-page CV and resume writing ebook, which you can download for free at jobinterviewology.com. It's full of examples, before and afters, and I would highly recommend it as a way to benchmark and improve your CV. Secondly, with regards to improving your interview skills, when interviewing for a role at a higher banding, the competition is naturally going to be stronger, and you're going to be the underdog. You're competing against other professionals who are choosing to hop, rather than trying to jump. So you have more to prove and you're going to have to do more to prove your credentials because you're not as experienced. Now there are many resources available online. I mean you just have to go onto YouTube and type in interview advice. However, if you're looking for a foolproof system to really ramp up your interview performance, I recommend you enroll onto our online interview training course where you can learn and master our iPrep methodology which was developed by yours truly. You can register at jobinterviewology.com to find out more. And finally, before I go, I've put together a career fast track bundle, which you can download for free from jobinterviewology.com. It contains your very own career roadmap planner, career accelerator checklist, my 30 page CV and resume writing ebook, and access to my online interview training course, where you can watch certain course videos for free, including how to answer the question, what are your weaknesses? So make sure you sign up and check it out. Moving forward in your career will require the right motivation, desire and investment. And as I've said at the start of the video, if you've made it this far, I have no doubt that you have the inner flame to do something about it and have that vision of where you want to be. And as Napoleon famously once said, a goal is a dream with a deadline. So what are you waiting for? It's time to get started.